Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jamie. If you're new, this is Ingrid. Ingrid, say hi. Today I wanted to share with you guys what our homeschool day looks like. I've had so many questions um, from you guys asking just what our routine looks like what it looks like juggling four little kids, um, two of which are really mainly in school. I have kids ranging from six down to 18 months. We focus most of the schooling on the oldest two that are five and six, um, but we still have to juggle naps and attention between all four as well. So. <laughs> so sometimes it can seem kind of chaotic, it's definitely not perfect, but I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse into kind of what we do when we start, how I kind of juggle giving attention between all the little ones and all that kind of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Subscribe if you're not already so I can get to know you more. Comment down below and connect with me. Um, if you have littles that you homeschool, I would love to know your tips and tricks for how you manage to juggle it. <laughs> can you say hello? Say hi. Because half the time they're just so cute you want to hold them all the time, right? Yeah, and then you get laundry piles that are sitting back there that need to get put away. Big messes? Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, let's jump on in. do when we start our school day is we do something called morning basket and essentially it has a book for us to read today it has all of our ABC's that we practice we practice all of the sounds that all of the ABC's make we also have a Bible verse that we do every single week that we will go over we talk about what is the date and then also what the weather is like outside so today it's 46 degrees and we're kind of talking about how it's chilly, but it's going to be in the 60s this afternoon, so it will start to get warmer. And then we finish up our morning basket time with the Pledge of Allegiance. We do daily affirmations um, for who we are in Christ. And then also we do like a group prayer over our school day. Loved us. You say that with me? We, we love him 
Because he first loves us. 1 John 4, 19. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Led by the Spirit. I am led by the Spirit. I am accepted in Him. I am accepted in Him. I am called by God. I have control over my actions. I have control over my actions. I am blessed. I am blessed. I am strong in the Lord. I am strong in the Lord. I am complete in Him. I am complete in Him. I am being changed into His image. I am being changed into His image. I am a peacemaker. I am a peacemaker. I am above and not beneath. I am above and not beneath. I am a truth teller. I'm a truth teller. So now we just finished up our morning basket time and we're moving into doing journals. So I just bought these journals for the kids off of Amazon. Um, they have lines on one side and then a blank piece of paper on the other. And so the kids will each draw something in their journal and then they will tell me what they drew and I will then write what they drew on the other side on the lined page. Um, and then once they get a little bit older and can write it themselves, then they can just write it themselves. But it's kind of a nice conversation time. Um, they get to be creative and we get to chat about what exactly they're wanting to draw. So that's what we're doing right now. During this time, this is usually when Ingrid is awake before she takes her nap. And she is normally just playing with things over here in the kitchen. She keeps herself occupied for a little bit. And then once we start in on the um, individual lessons, then she usually goes and takes a nap while we're doing that. What, Jude? Why did God make yeah, poison ivy? Okay, so I just sat the kids down and they are coloring in an ABC book really quick while I put Ingrid down for a nap. Um, that is like my biggest thing is I have to find some, I have to keep them occupied while I put her down or else the train falls off the tracks. <laughs> so she's gonna take a nap because she is starting to get fussy, so I'm gonna nurse her and put her down. And then when I go back out there, um, I will then start Fiona's lesson and I'll show you what I do with Ezra and Jude while I'm doing Fee's lesson and then so forth with the other two as well. What letter says v v v? V v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v v
Violin tis. Violin. Violin. Hey, what letter does violin start with? V. V. Good job. V. V. I. Y. L. I. N. Hey, how old are you? Three. Three. Mom, Mom what is that called? One was that called? Two. A vulture. Alright oh, guys, so I just got Ingrid down for a nap. The kids are finishing up these little um, ABC books that they're doing right now. Once they finish these, then I will work with Fiona independently on her assignment and her um, schoolwork. We do the um, Level K Good and the Beautiful with her, which is solely focused on um, reading, reading and writing and spelling and all that kind of stuff. So we do that with her and then we also do math with her as well. And then when she's doing that, Jude will be playing, doing probably Legos or magnet tiles or something with his hands. And then Ezra will be on ABC Mouse. So Ezra has time on ABC Mouse, um, which I love. I love you guys. If you guys have never used ABC Mouse, it is super inexpensive. It's really nice because the kids get to learn and play on it. This is not sponsored by ABC Mouse at, at all. Um, I purchased it myself, but I just have really been enjoying it. So um, he does ABC Mouse. Jude ends up playing with Legos or Magna Tiles. And then once Fiona finishes up her lesson, um, I then move into Ezra's lesson with him and then Fiona and Jude get time um, with ABC Mouse. And then once I finish up with Ezra's lesson, Fiona and Ezra will work on handwriting while I'm doing Jude's lesson with him. And then usually around that time it is lunch time so I get everybody's lunch ready and then Ingrid's usually up ready to get up from her nap and that's kind of what our morning looks like. So I just finished up with Jude's lesson. Um, the kids are playing right now in the other room, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and got a glimpse into kind of what our homeschool day looks like. Um, there are some weeks that we go to co-op. There are some days when we do some science curriculum from the good and the beautiful that I can't wait to share with you guys. Um, we do some geography. So sometimes our learning together time looks a little bit differently. Um, we do more than just journals some days and some days it just looks like what we did today. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this and um, I hope that you guys are doing well and I'll see you guys in the next one.